What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the back and not just the width, but we're getting into the girth. We wanna build that thickness. I'm sure you guys have seen at the gym, the guy that has that wide V taper. It looks good from the front, but then they turn and then all of a sudden they disappear. You wanna build that thickness, that girth, it's sexy. I'm gonna go over a few dumbbell exercises that you can do right at home or at the gym, take this with you to build that thickness. It's all about right now, we're doing the hard stuff, putting your back at a disadvantaged position to get into those rows that are gonna build the most muscle. If you're ready, let's get into it. Exercise number one. All right guys, exercise number one is gonna be a single arm dumbbell row. Now I see a lot of guys do this the wrong way. It's they either pull too high and they pull over their chest and into their shoulder or they pull a little bit too high and they go right under their chest. What you actually wanna do with your dumbbell you want to have a nice staggered position here. You're holding the bench. You're in a good position with your core. Everything's tight. Chest is up. You have your staggered position with your feet. Instead of rowing up into your chest, because this is just going to work that upper back, you want to make sure that you can actually row into your lower lat, almost to your hip line, and you're going to actually arch your back up just slightly. That way you can really start to work that lower lat and get into that insertion point because that's what's gonna actually build that lat and build that girth, especially down low. And it actually takes the bicep out of it because that range of motion is almost like a swinging pendulum where if you're not rowing, you're almost just pulling with the elbow. So picture your elbow, a string on the back, pulling into that lower lat. It's gonna help a lot. So guys, basically with that, you don't have to go super heavy. Leave the ego at home. You don't have to grab the 120s at your gym just because you can. Listen. I understand, you're probably strong and you can do it, but leave the ego at home, you don't need to do that. Get into the insertion point, focus on the form, and actually build the girth that you're looking for, right? You don't have to be that guy who's like, oh, I'm hulking it out, man. So this next row is gonna be one of my favorites. It's a pen lay row. If you guys don't know what a pen lay row, it's really focused on that power and that strength and building that girth. So basically you're in a dead stop position. You're gonna slow down, stop the weight on either the floor, if you can do this with a barbell or dumbbells. I have buckets that I'm using, yes, because I'm in a garage right now. I got a backdrop up because right now I'm in the process of moving. So until that's done, this is what we gotta do. This is the setup. I got my buckets here, right? So I'm hinging at the hips, my knees are slightly bent. The dumbbells are placed on the bucket. What I'm gonna do, flat neutral spine. I'm going ahead, I'm rowing into my lower hip area, that way I can work that insertion point and I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Give it a second, reset, power through, boom, reset. That's what that looks like. All right guys, so there's two ways to do this next row. So we're gonna do a dumbbell row with both our dumbbells here. Same positioning, we're bending the knees, hinge the hips, flat back, and you're gonna go ahead and have those dumbbells out in front of you this time. Now we're gonna go ahead and row into our hip line here. So if you want to work that lower back still and that more low section of the girth of the back, then you're going to pull into your hip. If you want to go ahead and work that upper portion of your back, you're going to pick the elbows up and out, and that way we can start rowing and work that upper back. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure you lower the, the weight because why the hell would you put yourself in such a prone position with heavy weight doing that? Make sure you leave the ego. I can't stress it enough. Let me show you guys both of those rows. All right guys, so this next row, we're gonna utilize the bench. So now we're gonna get into an incline row. Uh, chest supported, so basically you wanna make sure that you're not using such heavy weight, we're gonna be crushing your chest. Again, this is all about form and you wanna make sure you're feeling the contraction in the back. I don't go too heavy on this. So let me show you guys, again, there's two ways to do this. We can either row, kicking our elbows up and out. That way we're working the upper portion of our back or same positioning, we're rowing more into that lower section. We're working the lower back, all right? So again, a great row. Um, it's kind of very similar to a penle row where you're dead stopping towards the bottom and then you're gonna go ahead and explode through. So let me show you that. And there it is guys, a couple moves that you can really add some girth to that back. So 
make sure you incorporate these in your own routine. Um, again, I'm not going super heavy with this stuff. It's really just focusing on the form and the squeeze. So again, keep crushing it. Until next video, keep it peachy. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next video. Later.